So I like to enjoy my hot cup of Milo. It's kind of like hot chocolate for some of you who don't know what Milo is. Now during the cold season, you know hot beverages cool down faster. So your options are to drink it real fast before it cools down and possibly scorch your tongue or constantly reheating it in the microwave to keep it at a hot temperature. And that's what I usually do because I don't like to drink it hot real fast because it usually scorch my tongue. So in my pursuit to find something that will make my beverage stay hot at a longer period of time, I ran into this Ember temperature control mug. So let's talk about it. Now if you know you like to enjoy your hot beverages over a period of time without rushing to drink it, then you know eventually you'd have to stick it back in the microwave to reheat it to get it back to that perfect temperature it was when you first started sipping on it. Now if you're in the pursuit to find something that will make your beverage last even longer, then you want to pick up this Ember temperature control mug. So let's talk about this temperature control mug. The size of this cup is 10 ounces or 295 milliliters. It'll keep your beverage hot starting at 135 degrees Fahrenheit and you can adjust it from that point on. There's an app that you can download to your smartphone where you can control the temperature, get notification and more. Once you fully charge the Ember mug on the included charging coaster, it should last about an hour and a half to keep your beverage nice and hot. The Ember cup is safe for hand washing so don't put it in the dishwasher because it's probably going to do some damage. Now it doesn't say it on the box, but I'm pretty sure you want to keep it out of the microwave. So the Ember cup is very simple to use. First, you want to prepare your hot beverage in whatever container that you usually prepare your hot beverage in. That could be a coffee pot, tea pot, or if you boil water on the stove. Once the beverage is prepared, then you want to pour it into the Ember cup. Then you want to go to the app, whether you got an iPhone or an Android phone, adjust the temperature to your liking, and then enjoy the beverage for at least up to an hour and a half. Okay, so let's dive into this box and see what's on the inside. So there it is, a nice size cup, 10 ounces, 295 milliliters. And like I said, it's good to keep your hot beverages hot where you drink coffee, tea, hot chocolate, anything like that. Inside the rest of this container, we have the charging base. And a little bit further down, we got some uh, paperwork, and then we got the power adapter. And I think that's about it. Yes, that's all that's in the box so far. So there you have it. That's all the components that came in the box. So what you want to do now is to plug this in and charge it up to make sure it's fully charged so the next time you get ready to enjoy your hot beverage, you can just pour it to the cup and enjoy it for a longer period of time. So now let's move over to the app and get this thing up and running. Okay, so let's get the app installed on this smartphone right now so we can get this cup up and running. So first you wanna search for Ember. And there it is, Ember, temperature matters. We're gonna install. Now that we got the app installed, we wanna click open. And then it's gonna load up and do its thing. Now that the app is loaded and ready to go, we're gonna say, let's get started. We're gonna click next. And then we want to hit the power button for pairing, press and hold. So I press and hold the button till it turns blue. I don't know if you can see it, but it's blinking blue at the very bottom. And then I'm going to click next. Allow. It's searching for the mug. If it's in range, it's connecting. It found it and it's done. It's that simple. So now I'm going to create a, an account. I'm going to agree to the terms. Keep me up to date. Sign up. And the cup now is ready to go. So I can actually personalize this color to whichever color I want. I like yellow, so I'm going to go with that color right there. Somewhere right there. There we go. I'm going to click done. So right now it's telling me the cup is empty. So it even knows when there's beverage in the cup or not. And there's the yellow that I chose at the bottom of the cup. So let's explore this app a little bit. So let's go into settings. We can adjust the brightness. We can personalize it with different colors if we choose to change the color again. And then we got the battery life right now. It's at 66% and that's coming right out of the box. So I haven't actually charged it yet. We got the temperature that we can set to Celsius or Fahrenheit. And then we get the notification that's already turned on. So now let's swipe up from the bottom and see what's down there waiting for us. So as you can see, there's some presets that's already down there. We got latte, cappuccino, coffee, black tea, green tea, 
Choosing one of these presets will set the cup to that perfect temperature to keep whatever beverage that's labeled here at that temperature. But you can also add your own preset. Down below you have timers, so you have tea timers, you got green tea timer, black tea timer, herbal tea timer. And with the stopwatch on the left, you can add your own timer or you can edit the timers. And at the very bottom you got recipes, so you can click over there and see they got lemon honey ginger, golden milk, and all kind of different recipes. So these are the ones that they have preset into the app right now. Maybe they're going to add some more later, I don't know. but. These are the ones they have that you can work with. And if you click on one of them, it's going to actually show the method of actually putting this whole thing together. So it's going to give you the ingredients, direction, all that stuff. So that's all the features that's available below the home screen. If you click on the three lines in the top left corner, you got home, you got account, you got device and using your Ember. So it's going to give you some support on how to actually use your Ember mug and, you know, some instructions, how to power it off, how to pair it technical specs and stuff like that. And they also have customer support that you can contact. So that was a look at the app for this Ember temperature control mug. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to go ahead and enjoy my cup of hot Milo and you enjoy whatever beverage you like, whether it's coffee, tea, or hot chocolate. Thanks for watching this video. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.